everyone, so I am so excited for today's video because I have partnered with NARS to show you guys their new orgasm collection. This is new, not so new, but still kind of very, very new because it launched a couple of weeks ago and the entire collection, it's a four piece collection and it is based around this guy right here, which is the iconic NARS orgasm blush. And that is why I also did this like peachy, corally makeup that I love so much. And also, can we quickly talk about my hair as well? I actually love this like cute little hairstyle. I never wear my hair like this, but I absolutely love it. So anyway, without further ado, let's get right into the video. This is going to be a talk through tutorial using only NARS products. I hope you guys enjoy it and learn something from it. And let's get right into the actual tutorial. So I think I'm going to start off with my skin today first, then do everything else. But before I start off with my skin, I do want to quickly apply a little bit of a lip balm situation. And this is the first product from the new NARS Orgasm collection that I'm going to be sharing. And this is called the um, Afterglow Lip Balm and of course Orgasm. Now I have to say the packaging of this entire collection and actually just NARS as a whole is beautiful but I love the rose gold and I have two of these um, and I keep one of them in my bag all the time. And let me know in the comment section below you guys if you want to see like an updated what's in my bag because I would love to share that in like an upcoming video so let me know in the comment section below. But this balm is beautiful because it adds like such a subtle color, but I love how well it moisturizes my lips. So that's there on its own. But now let's move on to the skin. And I think for today's video, I'm going to use this foundation right here. This is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Syracuse. Um, and I love NARS's foundations. I've talked about them so many times in the past. And every single foundation that I've tried from NARS, um, I love. They just have this like amazing way to like blend into your skin where it looks like it's literally part of your skin. So I'm going to show you guys what I mean by that. So let's just focus right over here really quickly and you guys will see how this foundation literally just looks like a second layer of my actual skin and it just evens everything out so beautifully and Tell me that doesn't just look like it's my skin, but like a perfected, like a blurred version of my skin. Look at that. I do have to say like, if you guys struggle to find your foundation match, which is such a huge problem for me and I know for so many of you guys out there, I would really suggest looking into Nars' complexion products because based on my past experiences with Nars, they truly have something for everyone. Moving on to the next complexion product, which is this baby right here. This is the Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Ginger. Now I actually, I'm gonna show you guys this new technique that I've been doing that I really have been loving with my concealers. Um, and that is to go all the way up here, like super, super up to my eye and also bring it down by the side of my nose. So what this does is it really brightens this entire area where you guys can see right here, I have this line. Doing this technique really blurs it out. Actually, I'll show you guys very quickly right now so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So I'm just gonna quickly blend out this concealer and even though Ginger is just a few shades too light for me, I love using it underneath my eyes because it just brightens up my entire face so beautifully and you guys will see in the before and after in just one second. Okay, so do you guys see the before and the after? This side of my face just looks so bright and like awake, especially in person. And I just really, really love using ginger for my skin tone to really brighten up my entire face. Now it is time to bronze up my skin and I wanna share a new palette with you guys. I wanna use this for the rest of the video in terms of like my eyeshadow, but I do want to show you guys other products that I also love from NARS. So I'm only going to use this for the purpose of bronzing up my skin, I think, because I love it that much. But anyway, this is what the outer packaging looks like. And this is called the Atomic Blonde Palette. And this is what the inside looks like. Tell me this palette is not perfection because you have literally the most beautiful warm toned eyeshadows, a gorgeous, very subtle highlight, and a beautiful, intense bronzer. So travel friendly and like such a good essential palette. But for today's video, I'm only going to be using the bronzer from this palette because like I said, I do wanna show you guys different products from NARS that I love. And I'm just gonna apply that on the side of my face. 
and you do have to be very careful with the sponsor because it's super super pigmented so a little bit of product definitely goes a long way I will say that Narzis palettes are amazing and such good value and I really really recommend them whether it's their eyeshadow palette or a mix like this one or like a blush palette their palettes are just such a great way to try like multiple products from NARS by just buying one so I really really recommend NARS's palettes to you guys okay now it is time to use the one product that completely inspired the orgasm collection and this is the NARS orgasm blush and as you guys can see I've been using this a lot recently and I also do have the orgasm blush like the normal size this is actually like super size for the purpose of this collection and this blush is beautiful because it works for all different skin tones it's super super subtle on mine but you guys can see like if I just like build this up it's so natural and beautiful and what I love about it is that it has this like I don't know if you guys can see it or not maybe if I like show you guys in the sun but it does have this like gold duochrome finish so it's almost like a highlighter and blush in one for my skin tone. It's beautiful. Sorry guys, my memory card was full so I had to format it. But I already started to use the next product which is this one right here. And this is the NARS Orgasm Loose Powder. And here is what it looks like. Now I personally for my skin tone like to use this as a blush topper. So I go right on top of my blush and just bring it all the way back to my hairline and it adds a beautiful glow to my overall skin. Um, if you are a little bit darker than me, then this would be a beautiful highlight for your skin. But for me, I just like to use this as a blush topper and it gives my skin like such a stunning glow. I just quickly applied some tape on the sides of my eyes and oh my gosh, this one's not sticking very well. But I just did that because I want like a really straight edge and I also did my hair and my brows and all that. I was gone for a little bit, but now I'm officially back to finish the rest of this look. And I really wanted to use this palette right here for my eyes today because I love this palette. This is called the Wanted Palette. It's such a beautiful, like, warm tone palette. And I love the shimmers in this palette also. I love my warm shades, so that's why I think I love this one. Um, but let's just go ahead and start off by doing, like, a quick little look. And, oh my gosh, this tape is not staying on. Like, it wants to come off so badly, but I'm just going to hope that it stays put but anyway I think I'm gonna go in with this shade right here which is like um like a medium matte brown and apply that all over my crease and the reason why I even have this tape you guys for anyone that's wondering like what the heck I'm doing with this tape is because I want to create like a really really defined edge on my eyes now I'm gonna smoke out the edge a little bit more by using this reddish maroon shade that I think is so beautiful and even though this is like a red eyeshadow it's so subtle and the color is actually so beautiful on the eyelids and just like easily like warms up the entire eye so love this eyeshadow Okay, now I just want to smoke out this look a little bit more and I'm going to take this really dark matte brown and this stuff is so pigmented. You literally just need that much product and that's more than enough. And I'm going to just trace it right along the tape and not bring it too close to the rest of my eye. I just kind of want to smoke this out in the outer V of the eye. Okay, let's quickly just remove this tape and I actually should have mentioned this before but anytime you're going to use tape on your eyes, make sure you do like this on the back of your hand to like soften up the glue a little bit otherwise you're really going to like pull the skin and you don't want to do that so make sure you just do that little technique but anyway here are my eyes i love this like defined edge uh, but anyway i do want to apply a little bit of shimmer in this look so i'm going to go in with the shade right here which is beautiful and it's like a subtle like corally shimmery shade and that is going to go all over my eyelids. I just went ahead and did my lashes. Can you guys believe that I'm not doing like my cat eyeliner today? I kind of have been like more into like this type of look where it's just like fluttery lashes, no eyeliner on top. I'm kind of loving it. Let me know what you guys think. But anyway, let's quickly just finish off the eyes. I'm gonna go back in with the Wanted palette and kind of just do like a mixture of these three shades right here and just apply that 
on the lower lashes to quickly smoke out this area as well. Honestly, you guys, I truly feel like this is like the one step that I can never ever skip. Even if I'm doing like the most basic eye ever, I still have to put some sort of eyeshadow to complete the bottom lash because look how different, like look at the difference it makes in the eyes. This is not complete, this is complete. I love this. Okay, I want to do one more thing also, you guys, because I want to kind of like apply a little something in the inner corner of my eyes. So I'm going to take the Illuminating Loose Powder, the Orgasm one again, and just apply this in the inner corners just to highlight this area. So the eyes and face are done. I might still have like a little bit of lash glue, but we're just going to ignore that and finish off this look with the lips. And I'm going to use, I think, these two products together. So I'm going to start off by using the NARS Power Matte Lip Pigment in American Women, which is such a good, like, pinky nude for my skin tone. Now, to finish off this look, I'm just going to add a little bit of a gloss to my lips. And you guys know that I'm not a gloss person at all, but I don't really like, like, super duper, like, matte lips either. So I want, like, a very, like, subtle like glow to my lips if you will and for that I'm gonna use this baby right here and this is called the full vinyl lip lacquer in the shade orgasm of course and this is what it looks like I'm just gonna take this much product like so and then just blend this out with my finger and this is just going to add the most beautiful dimension to my lips if you love lip glosses you can wear this on its own I will just say it's super super pigmented so in my opinion, a little bit of product truly goes a long way to add that glossy finish. Okay guys, here is the final look, which I just love so much. I'm loving this like smoky peachy eye with like the peachy cheeks and the peachy lips, peach everywhere. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know if you guys want to see more videos where I only use one brand and do like a full face because I would love to do more videos like this. So definitely let me know your guys' feedback in the comment section below. I have so many fun new videos coming up so make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye!